Today we're going to be reviewing the Chinook Boulder 45. This backpack is great for either the weekend travel or the week-long travel. I would say if you are just going on a weekend travel, you're going to have plenty of extra. But if you do want to have a, a backpack that's smaller than this, this, again, this is the 45 liter. I did a review on a 30 liter backpack a little while ago, and we will put that link in the description below. You can purchase it on Amazon and we'll put the link in the description. But right now it comes in at about $61. So it's pretty affordable backpack. And this is my second backpack. I purchased the first one in about 2013. Did lots of traveling with it. Um, several countries between Australia and Japan. Cambodia, Vietnam, all of those countries. And it was a great backpack to be able to just take out there. Um, and it stood the test of time. But over the last six years, seven years, I um, have worn some holes in that one. Can you pass me that one as well? Oh, thanks. So this is the original backpack that I've had. It has kind of worn out some of these little areas. Um, some holes right in here and a couple other areas, but this has really stood up to the test of time over those seven years and has made it through a lot of journeys. It still is a functional backpack at this point. Some of the padding strap has, has ripped off a little bit. For the amount of traveling that it's done, it's really stood up to the test of time. We'll get started with some of the features of this backpack. Again, it's a backpack that it can be made rugged for those one to two week mountain trips. It has very thick hip padding that as you are traveling, you're able to actually use this and it is a functioning hip belt. Um, it does have really nice padding back, back support. And then as well, uh, really nice padded shoulder straps and you can adjust the shoulder straps on this to make it to however you want uh, for your different back positions. It is very minimal with not a whole lot of different spaces, but you do have one main compartment that you can either get to from up above as you would normal backpacking backpacks, like so. And it also has a main compartment or another way to get to the main compartment, which is to unzip this large pocket right here. It does have two ways of being able to get to this main compartment. Uh, the nice thing with this, again, being able to pack adjustable, you can pack it up you know, to this height, or if you don't have as much stuff, you can only pack it to there. It does have, in a, it's not detachable, but it does have a main compartment here on top as well that folds over. So anything that you need to be able to get to very quickly, you can put in here. And on the back side, it does have another zipper compartment. It's got a couple compression straps on each of the sides. So if you are having less stuff, you can go ahead and compress it down or expand it out. It's got a couple of main, uh, mesh side pocket. You can either put drinks in these mesh compartments or sandals. I will say just one of maybe one of the drawbacks is just the shape of this pocket. Um, I've actually found that one of my the packing cubes is really good that has you can put underwear and socks and stuff to be able to put into this compartment. Um, you can put you know a book or some other electronics it's got a lot of straps around the outside that you can go ahead and put carabiners. I was in Australia for a couple of weeks. I did use these bottom straps to be able to put my sleeping pad underneath. So again, if you're going more for outdoors type of travel down on the bottom here, there is the hidden uh, rain fly to be able to cover up and one of the things that I use this compartment for as well is kind of when I'm in different countries putting my money down in this little compartment because it's well hidden. Rainfly, it doesn't actually detach. It's connected 
It's connected to the bottom here. Whenever you're out and about in areas that you don't want people to easily try to get to some of your different compartments, um, even if it's not a rainy day, I just go ahead and use the, the rain fly over just to make it harder for people to get into my bag. One of the nice things about this backpack is it is cabin friendly. Just the way this one is shaped, uh, a lot of times this fits in just perfect on that back side. And then you have the aisle here. The world is small, so let's go travel.